Hey everyone, I'm going to give a quick demo of some work that we've been doing about uh, related to the GitLab for Jira app. So we've been working on adding the ability for self-managed users to connect their self-managed GitLab instance to the GitLab for Jira app. Um, so I'm going to be just like, I've prepared an MR here that uh, finally pulls everything together and gets the whole thing working. So the idea is that I can go into the GitLab for Jira app, I can give it my self-managed instance URL, and then all the requests that uh, happen through that Jira connect, through the, uh, the GitLab for Jira app will be going to the GitLab self-managed instance. So yeah, I've got some setup steps here, which I'm gonna run through and check that uh, we've got full coverage and then it's reproducible. So let's go ahead and get started. So I already have my git pod instance based on this merge request. So I would just go to code and open in git pod and wait for the setup to complete. Now I'm going to enable these two feature flags. So this first feature flag is actually enabling uh, the OAuth authentication mechanism. And then the second one is enabling the self-managed side of things. So let's enable the first one. Cool. And move the screen share thing out of the way. Uh, let's enable the second one. Great. So now that they're both enabled, I can head over to, I'm just going to check that the UI is running. Of course, I. Cool. So this is the new UI and we can see that it's rendering. Um, before I had already enabled it, but then disabled it again so I could show, show it in the video. Um, so yeah, I've already, for context, I've already added this, uh, this Git pod uh, wait for it to load here. Cool. I've already added this, uh, this Git pod instance to my Jira instance. Um, so that's what we're seeing here. I'll get back to that. Okay. Back to the steps. Okay. So now in my Git pod GitLab, I'm going to create a GitLab application uh, or, or an OAuth, OAuth application rather. And so the steps for that are in our documentation um, down here. So I'm going to go to my GitLab instance. I'm going to go to admin, uh, go to Applications, new application, and fill it out accordingly. Doesn't have to be named anything special. My URL, my redirect URI um, is actually, so for self-managed users, this would be their self-managed instance. I just happen to be using the same instance here. Um, let's double check in the docs. So it's my Git pod instance. And then with this path, which is our OAuth callback path. Now it wants me to set the API scope and turn off trusted and confidential. And I go ahead and save that. So now the next step is to set this ID against the GitLab instance. So I've got my application ID now. So what I need to do is copy that, head to settings, I believe, and scroll down to the bottom and we'll see there's a new GitLab for Jira, uh, GitLab for Jira app setting here. And so I can go ahead and copy my application ID, which I just created, save that, and cool, it's confirmed that it's saved. Let's just double check. Cool, and it's been saved. 
Okay. Now, finally in our Jira app, which is back here. So I can sign in uh, using gitlab.com, that's totally fine. If I click save here, it'll just go through the regular sign-in steps, but we're gonna try giving it our custom URL here. So what I will need to do is copy my GitLab, my Gitpod uh, URL here, paste it in, click save. And now when I click sign in, I'll get a pop-up. Now notice that this pop-up is directed at our, Git, at our custom Gitpod URL, which is great. And also it has our client ID, which is the application ID, which we just set um, back in those previous steps. And so now if I click authorize, I'll get my token. Uh, that doesn't look good. Refresh. Let's try that again. Authorize. Cool, don't know what happened there. Probably some cache issue, um, but great. There we go. Uh, now let's just test adding a namespace. And what I'll do is bring up the console into the screen share um, so that we can actually see and, and kind of prove that this is going through our self-managed instance. So I search for Gitpod we'll take the git pod rather and click link maybe that wasn't the right filter it wasn't that's all good um so you can see i've done a post request to my self-managed url which is great and also you can see here that i have in my post request i've uh, attached the authorization header that includes my OAuth token, which I received when I authorized the app. So that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching. I think all those setup steps were covered.